Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's try to get a feel for what the divergence is. And again, the divergence is something you get when you take the del operator and you operate it via the dot product on a vector function. So here I try to draw three different vector functions or vector fields. So here, notice that we have the vector, vectors all pointing to the right, they all have the same length and it doesn't matter if I'm high or low in the z-direction anywhere on the xy plane on any heights for the z-direction the vectors all point in the same direction meaning we have a constant vector field that doesn't change no matter what direction I travel here we have a vector field that seems to increase going upward if I go up in the z-direction and seems to increase in the negative direction when I go further down in the z-direction. So when I travel up or down, I see a change in the length of the vectors, meaning the vector field is increasing going up and increasing going down in the negative direction. Notice that if I travel in the x-direction or in the y-direction, there seems to be no change in the vector field magnitude. And then here, we have the vector field changing in all directions, starting from the origin, going outward. Notice that the vectors get longer no matter which direction I travel, the x direction, the y direction, the z direction. It seems to increasing in all directions. So we can then say that if we're going to calculate the divergence, which is done by taking the del operator and multiplying via the dot product with the vector quantity. And let's say we define the vector quantity right here. We have an A, an X component, a Y component, a Z component. That means we take the partial derivative with respect to X of the X component, plus the partial derivative with respect to Y of the Y component, plus the partial derivative with respect to Z of the Z component of the vector. And notice we'll end up with a scalar quantity. And it indicates, and that's the key here, the divergence indicates how much the vector field spreads out. Does it become bigger when I travel in the x, the y, or the z direction, or in all directions? So here, since it doesn't change, the vector field doesn't change when I travel in any direction, there is what we call no divergence. The vector field doesn't diverge, doesn't spread out. Here, notice that if I travel in the z direction or in the negative z direction, the vector field changes. So there's somewhat of a divergence. There's what we would call maybe a median divergence. But here, no matter which direction I travel, the x direction, the y direction, the z direction, the vector field changes. So we call that a large divergence. So we go from no divergence when there's no change in the vector field to some divergence when there's change in one direction to a large divergence because it's changing in all directions. So the divergence can be defined as a scalar that indicates how much a vector field spreads out or diverges. The divergence is calculated at a particular point. Now here it turns out the way it's defined, we'll show you the equations later, it doesn't seem to change that much in any direction. So the, the change could be constant as I travel further out or it could increase and we'll sh show you some examples of that. We can have a positive divergence or a negative divergence. If it's positive, there's a source. It's like there's an emanation from a single point going outward that calls a, that's called a source or a faucet, like a faucet where water comes out. It's a source of water, it's a source of a vector field. So there may be a point somewhere in space and then there's a vector field emanating from that point in space. Or it can be a negative divergence, it's a sink. The vector field emanates or finishes at a particular point where it seems to disappear. So think of a water going down a drain, disappearing in a drain. Think of a vector field disappearing in a drain. So that called, that's called a negative divergence. So the vector field comes together in a single point or a vector field emanates away from a point. That's the difference between a positive and a negative divergence. So at least this gives us a conceptual idea of what divergence is. Now we'll show you some mathematical examples where we calculate the divergence to see how it applies to vector functions like this. And that is how it's done. Mm -hmm. Did you understand this?